Hey guys, as promised, I said I was going to do some range tests today and make a second video, and I lost my aviators, so everybody that liked them, screw you! No, I'm just kidding, I love them, I just can't find them. So anyway, um, 130 feet, I was right last night, but I still feel the need for improvement, so against my better judgment, I'm going to do some more mods to it. What we're doing is taking this barrel out, and yes, obviously, this means that it won't be able to shoot the um, missile thing, but I don't care, because I don't like it. What we're going to be replacing it with is Schedule 80 PVC, not Schedule 40. And obviously, it's not going to be this long. This is just the starting length, and I haven't cut it down shorter than this yet. So, start by opening up the gun. Okay, so when it's open, cut the barrel at here, which is what we were going to do yesterday. Uh, scratch that. Hold on. Uh, we'll need something to make a mark with. And we can always cut it short, I just want to make it work for some reason. So about this length. Now what you're gonna do is get a piece that I just lost. First you're going to find my piece. Uh, um. It's a um, one and a quarter inch to a half inch adapter. Hot glue that right there. Okay, originally the idea was to put the adapter on it. Well, screw that. The reason I um, was going to do that is because other people I've seen rather other people do it, and it worked out well for them because of um, stabilizing issues. But I'm just going to use a regular half-inch coupler because I think it fits really well. And I don't think it'll increase the range, but it certainly reduces dremeling time. And quite frankly, I just think it's easier. So why not? So once you glue that on the top, you can surround the... Um, portion that was glued by electrical tape. Well, you don't have to because it's already a pretty good seal, but I like electrical tape because I went to Home Depot and picked up, ah, it's always right next to the camera, um, 10 rolls of electrical tape for $5. This is one of those rolls, so I thought that was awesome. Thanks, Home Depot. So I seriously overload this stuff. It's just so useful. I know there's people out there that are obsessed with duct tape, and I still am one of those people, but I think electrical tape is just as, if not more, useful than duct tape. Please don't leave bad comments. Well, in general, yeah, but, like, not about the duct tape thing. Okay, there we go. So, very tight. Where's the... Uh, hold on a minute. Okay guys, I range tested it just like this. Incredible ranges. I did a tiger in the um, Schedule 80 CPVC barrel and the ranges were uh, 145, or er, um, sorry, 125 rather. And then I have a brass barrel, which I just covered in electrical tape so it fit in the barrel really well and I even lost the streamline but it almost like I measured at the very back of my um, driveway and it shot across the street deep into the woods of my neighbor's yard 
So I'm guessing that went over like 150 feet. So that was with a streamline and taggers won't fit down this barrel, but since they can both fit on the um, new attachment, I'm gonna be using both of them, most likely. And I'm not sure what the brass size is, but I'm sure that my dad will know because it's his brass, so I can check with him when he gets home on the sizes. So in order to put this back in the gun, because the coupler is larger than the original barrel, you have to do some dremeling in the front here and on the second ridge here. And I can show you the difference between a dremel. Well, actually, the fronts of both are dremeled already. Not very thinly, but that's... Yeah. Anyway, this is what the stock hinge looks like. And you need to dremel it out, the second ridge, to make it look like that. So it's much, much deeper. It can hold more space. Then make sure the flat side is down. Caught it. When you put it back in, it should fit beautifully. And I actually think it looks really cool. Just open like this. I wish I had a see-through shell or something. But, um, actually I might even paint this shell. So just dremel that out, put it back together, and you should have a really nice gun. Alright, hi guys. Found the aviators. Anyway, the mod is done, and I'm just gonna, I'm running out of time already, so I'm not going to bother to do a shotgun attachment this video. I'll show you how to do it over the weekend, maybe. So, um, here is the ending, and I just went ahead and, like, pretty much cemented this inside the gun, so it's real stable and stuff. And we're going to shoot it. This shoots uh, 160 feet angled with a Stefan using the brass barrel. And that's not an exact measurement. I have um, marks 10 feet uh, up my driveway, so I just took it from that measurement, but I'll do exact measurements when it's light enough tomorrow. And I didn't measure the um, stock darts using the PVC barrel yet, but I uh, shall be tomorrow when I measure um, certainly for the um, the brass ranges. Anyway, I'm just going to show you a quick demo. This is a tanker dart, as you saw. Just kind of like muscle it in the coupler. It's not that hard. Only needs five pumps. And then the release kicks in anyway. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Yeah, probably not. Anyway, I have a cereal box set up there, so I'm going to move the camera closer to check the pen penetration levels. And I really don't want to miss. So I'm going to be like 10 feet away using a nice Stefan. And yes, brass does fit relatively well because of my e-tape, which I love even more now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put the computer down here. So you're just going to have the cereal box, and I'll be standing recording. And I'm sorry, I didn't know if we were recording or not. I'll be standing right there at that ledge thing. So I'll be relatively close because, as I said, if I miss, I will be, well, it's, yeah, I don't want to miss because it would be very, very bad. So you saw me put in the Stefan, and it is all the way down. Ready? Wow, we're still missed. But luckily I hit the chair. I, I'm not a very good aimer with aviators on. And the barrel's not exactly straight. I need more electrical tape. Anyway, fire two. Ready?
Yep. As I thought, ripped right through the front. That's the back. Uh, here it is. Um, up here, as you can see, and the Stefan is or was inside the box. So. In 13, signing off.